Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I have a video about this weekend's inaugural Miami Formula 1 Grand Prix. And of course, at the time of recording, no on-track action has happened. Not So no practice, no qualifying and definitely no race. But we have had a lot of stuff so far. Well, a couple of very interesting things which um, I'm going to talk about now. Well, for the first thing, Mercedes have brought some upgrades, and upgrades that they're hoping will get that car out of the doldrums. Please, God, let it work. Because this season so far has been killing me. So please let these front wing upgrades work, or do something at least. Please. But moving on from that, we also have the, um, the marina, for which... And if you don't know what I mean here, um, well, they've put a marina around the track, so a little bit of a, a lake, except there's one slight snag. There's no water. It's just painted bits of wood to make it look like it's water. And, well, it's been ripped to shreds. Like, everyone's made fun of it. So they're probably going to change it next year to an actual marina. Especially considering that the F1 video game has one update by actually making it a functioning, well, water textured marina. So it's actually water. So they're probably going to have to change that for next year. And um, of course, as I mentioned, I think last weekend, the um, Team Principals Parade has been cancelled for some reason. I don't know why. But on Wednesday evening, there was... Uh, an opening ceremony for the weekend, which um, was a bit strange, I'm going to be honest, but it's it does seem kind of appropriate. As I said, this is the first ever F1 race in Miami and in Florida as a whole, so I suppose it makes sense. And I'll admit, I haven't watched it yet properly. I, I did see a few minutes earlier on, but I'm going to watch a little bit of a repeat of it once I go downstairs after filming this video. So, yeah. From what I've heard, it was a pretty interesting event. About an hour long, so a bit of a long one, but not too bad, really. Um, but yeah, this... And I have seen the track as well, uh, thanks to the F1 um, video game developers, Codemasters, on YouTube, because they have put a lap of Charles Leclerc's car going around the track. And I've got to say, the track looks pretty decent. <coughs> like, it's a fair... It's a very twisty, turny track for the first sector, and the rest of it is kind of like, um, I'm trying to remember the track, the, um, I think it's Daytona, well, kind of. It's a triangular, it goes a bit triangular for a while, but it is a very twisty, turny first sector. So that's going to be fun for the drivers, but the rest of it, I can't remember the track. I think it's Indianapolis. It's very similar in shape to that. It's got like the mass, a massive straight, and then it's got a very small, um, turn and then a very big last turn and then of course it's back to the <coughs> um twist well kind of back to the twisty bit for the first sector but yeah very good track looks pretty decent <coughs> and i just want to point out the podium is huge because during the f1 um opening ceremony they were actually able to get everyone on there so all 20 drivers and all of the team principals it's huge it genuinely could be used for Formula E because I've seen their podiums and it looks around about the same size. So don't be shocked if there's a Formula E race in Miami soon. Just saying. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys, on the lead up to the Formula One Miami Grand Prix in 2022. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my Rock Sands and Frost's channels. Their links are in the description. My sub button is down there. Yeah, that big red one. Unless you've already subbed, then it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. And once you've done that, don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. Comments as well, because why not? And let me know what you thought of all that I've mentioned in this video. And if you're looking forward to the race, which is going to be on late, as of course it's America, so it's going to be on a bit later than all the others. Once you know that too, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. There'll be a link tree in the description. I'm going live on stereo this Sunday. To talk about Moon Knight with Rodney from the after credits scene, so jump on for that, please, if you're able to. Don't forget as well, check out Roxanne's website 
and Frost's Instagram. The links are also in the description below my link tree. And lastly, please, please, please do not forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following and sharing and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.